Fight Fan Seattle Mike fights with friends. Big UFC card today. Curtis Blades and Chris Dawkins in the main event. Biggest fight I'm looking forward to is Brian Barbarena versus Matt the Immortal Brown, though. But let's talk for a second about betting because I'm about to head to the casino and uh, drop a couple of bills on a man named Curtis Blades. And I know a lot of you are saying, well, Mike, I mean, everybody's betting on Blades in this. I mean, the odds are up to like plus 510. What can you possibly make off of this? Well, I put quite a bit of research into this. And when you look up at Curtis Blades by knockout, you start getting closer to even odds. Uh, we're looking at minus 120 on DraftKings the last time I had checked. So a lot of people are like, oh, well, Curtis Blades is a, the king of lay and pray. I've heard people say that. He's the king of lay and pray. He doesn't finish people. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Which I know sometimes he doesn't finish people. But in 15 wins, the guy has 10 knockouts. He's actually only went to decision five times. He's won all five of them, but in 18 fights, he's only went to decision five times. He's only lost three times ever. They were all by knockout. But guys, twice to Francis Ngannou and once to Derek Lewis. So he's only been knocked out by the hardest hitting punchers in the history of the sport. Um, I, I do believe Chris Doggis is overrated. I believe he was overrated when he faced Derek Lewis. And I wish I would have jumped on that one because I, I feel like I lost money on that. I was just too lazy to drive to the casino, um, I guess. But here's why I am more confident in Curtis Blades winning by knockout. This is a five-round fight. Not only has Dawkins never went five rounds. Guys, he's only went three rounds one time. One time. And so look at his losses. He's got four losses. Three of them are by knockout. Uh, the other one by submission. Curtis Blades has never had a submission. I'm not saying he couldn't end up submitting Dawkins, it's certainly possible. But even odds for Curtis Blades to knock out Chris Dawkins, I really like my odds on that. I really think you're looking at a lot better than one-to-one, -one, which, of course, in betting, the best you can do is just to, you know, to make the, your odds much better than what the casino has given you. I think... There is a significant better chance that Curtis Blades wins by knockout than 50%. So if I can bet one to one on that, I'm pretty happy with that. And I had to go in, talk to the wife, and say, hey, you know, this is this is a pretty good sized bet. Uh, you know, if I lose this, uh, you know, I'll, I'll have to give you something or whatever. If I win, I'll have to give you something. Um, married people know how it is. Uh, anyways, like I said, Chris Dawkins, though, 12 and 4. He's got 11 wins by knockout. Could he end up knocking Derek Lewis out? Yes, he could. I mean, excuse me, Curtis Blades. Uh, I was thinking about Derek Lewis because he's knocked both of these gentlemen out. But we know, like I said, Dawkins will get knocked out. He just got knocked out by Derek Lewis. Um, in 2019, he got knocked out by Azuma. Um, and Yamu, um, I guess that is. And then he got knocked out in 2014. Um, that, that's been a while ago, of course. I'm, I'm not trying to pick on Chris. But the guy's only been to a decision one time in 16 fights. That tells me a lot. I don't know if it tells me everything I need to know. But a, a lot of boxes are checked in on this one. So I'm pretty confident in this bet. Um, if you want something a little less risky, you can just bet straight up that the fight doesn't go to the judges. Um, you're not going to get near as good of odds. I want to say you're like minus 250 now, so you'd have to put up 250 bucks to win 100. Uh, where in this bet, you only have to put up 120 to win 100 uh, for Curtis Blades by knockout. 
I think it's a great bet. I I have thought Chris Stockis was overrated for a long time. Like I said earlier, I'm kicking myself. I didn't bet Derek Lewis against him when he was actually a favorite uh, against Lewis. Uh, I think, you know, Dawkins was exposed. I'm not saying he's not a good fighter. And that he couldn't end up eventually being championship material. When you're talking about fighting guys like Derek Lewis and Curtis Blades, you're talking about guys that are already in that championship contender uh, area. And in my opinion, Chris Dawkins just is not there. I don't see him knocking Curtis Blades out. Uh, like I said, Curtis has only been knocked out by the hardest punchers ever. And in his second fight with Nagano, Nagano actually didn't knock him out. Remember, the referee stopped it after round two. Um, I think Blades is going to get in here, honestly, and just freaking annihilate this guy. I, I don't think Dawkins is going to be able to stop the takedown. Um, I think he's going to leave himself open for a lot of shots. He throws a lot of volume. Uh, so, I mean, he is going to, he's going to hit Curtis. He's going to get his shots in. I just don't see him finishing Curtis. Curtis is too tough. And everybody wants to think about that uppercut, that uppercut from Derek Lewis as Curtis Blades is coming in. Curtis Blades is just going to be that much more careful now. And, I mean, that was a once-in-a-lifetime kind of shot. If you're a fighter, I mean, Derek Lewis, that's probably the only time in his entire career that he's going to get a shot like that. All the knockouts he's had, he's never had one like that. Uh, odds of him ever getting one again are, are, are very slim. Um, and Curtis, is he's not going to fall for that game again. So, I don't know what more I can say here, guys, but my opinion... My advice uh, to you this week would be bet Curtis Blades, whether it's straight up, which you're not going to get very good odds, like I said, but, it, you know, I, I think you're fairly safe. There's always risk in betting, of course, but I think you're pretty safe. Uh, you can also bet for the fight not to go the distance. Like I said, you're going to have to put up more money to win less, uh, but you're going to... You're going to win more than if you bet straight up. If you take Curtis Blades by knockout, though, I think that's the winner. That's my pick of the week. Let me know what you guys think, though. What's your predictions for this card? What fights are you looking forward to? And what bets are you putting out there? As always, I love you. I respect you. And I'll see your fine asses next time.